guys welcome back to John's Tech. Today's video we're going to show you how to set your audio to go to two output devices. So your headset, maybe some speakers, uh, your headset and a capture card, multiple monitors, all depends how your audio setup is. So first thing we're going to look could do is go down here and go to sounds. Maybe we'll get this lovely window up and then we'll go to recording. And we're going to right click, click show disabled devices. And you'll see one called stereo mix. What we're going to do, we're going to enable that, go to its properties. Listen now, you want this for your default playback, but you don't set it as your default. What you want to do is set it to listen to your main device. And my main device is my capture card, so El Gato. Let's click listen to this device. Oops. Click apply and click OK. Now, there is a better solution to this, so we'll just double tick all this real quick. Also, if your computer doesn't have this, so we'll just uh, untick disabled, and then what we'll do, we'll just quickly disable this device again. Oops. So, if your computer doesn't have that option, or you'd prefer a better method, then you can head over to uh, vbaudio.com. This is a mixer. So it's a desktop mixer. I'll show you the app in a second. I've already got it open. Uh, either one of these you can click to download. They're both up to date. I did the .exe. You just follow the on screen instructions on how to install. Once you've installed, you'll get this. So, here, so my first audio device, I wanted my Elgato capture card. My second, I want my Razer headset. So these are now set. So if I just grab some audio real quick, let's move that up there. Let's go with non copyright music. And we'll just start playing a song. The song's playing. It's going to by and it's going to by Capture. So if you didn't hear that, what I was saying is you could see it was going to my audio device, so my Elgato, and it was going to my headset. Now, it's very easy to set up. You change your audios here, you can mix them, you can turn your audio input up, so mind my desktop. You can change all the bass and things like that now. Sometimes this might crash or when you launch your PC it won't kick in. But that's easy to fix. What you do, you go to show hidden icons. You right click on voice and you just click restart audio engine. That will refresh this. It will keep your settings but without refresh. Also, you want auto restart engine and you want it on system chase. It will automatically start when you start your PC. Here's some of the hotkeys. So for these, I, I haven't messed with any of these. I just leave it on what it is. So for me, the reason I use this is so I can have it go to my capture card when I'm streaming, and my headset so I can hear the audio. Stream can hear the audio. Everyone's happy. So hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.